Hello, I'm Fritz, and this lesson is on multiplication of matrices. The lesson is divided into two parts, multiplication by a scalar and multiplication by another matrix. But before we begin with the first part, we are going to look at some basic concepts in the world of matrices. Let us consider the matrix shown below. G having elements or entries 2, 3, 4, 1. This matrix has two rows, 1, 2, and it equally has two columns, one, two. So it is a two rows by two columns matrix. We mention the rows first, then the number of columns. So it is written two by two, red two by two matrix, where the first two stands for the number of rows and the second two stands for the number of columns. Let's take for example, that in this matrix, we have been asked to look for 5G, and to look for minus 2G. 5G means multiplying this matrix G by a scalar quantity with a numerical value of 5. And minus 2G means to multiply this same matrix by a number minus 2. 5 and minus 2 are scalars. They are elements of the set of real numbers. Let us start by looking for 5G. Here the scalar quantity is 5. So we are going to multiply each of the entries by 5. So 5 times G gives us 5 times 2, which is 10. 5 times 1 gives us, or 5 times 4 gives us 20. Then 5 times 0 gives us 0, and 5 times 1 gives us 5. So 5G is equal to 10, 5, 0, 20. That is 5G. Now, the second example, multiplying this same matrix by the scalar, minus 2, we have minus 2g to be equal to minus 2 times that matrix g. So you have minus 2 times 2 gives us minus 4. Minus 2 times 4 gives us minus 8. Minus 2 times 0 gives us 0. And minus 2 times 1 gives us minus 2. So the matrix minus 2g is minus 4 minus 2, 0 minus 8. Recall that a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers and you can think of the rows and columns in your classroom forming a matrix. Now let's move on to the second part, multiplying the matrix by another matrix. To multiply two matrices M and N, we must first check if they are compatible. The first thing to do is to check for compatibility. If they are not compatible, then multiplication cannot work. And I'm going to show you how compatibility is tested for. Let the order of the matrix M be A by B. So the matrix M has order A by B, that is A rows and B columns. And the matrix N has order C by D. So it has C rows and D columns. If we are to look for the matrix products MN or M times N, we must check if the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. That is the condition for compatibility. For us to have the products MN, the number of columns in matrix M must be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix, which is N. So B must be equal to C. If B is not equal to C, then it is not compatible or the product is not possible. So the only condition for the compatibility to hold true is for B to be equal to C. So if B is equal to C, we say the product MN is possible or compatible. And the order of the matrix obtained after multiplying, when you have the matrix MN, it will have order A rows by D columns. So the order of the new matrix that will be obtained after multiplying will be A by D which is obtained from A is from the first matrix and D is from the second matrix. You must not forget this concept. So remark, the matrix M times N is not the same as the matrix N times M. Although you may see some cases like that, but MN does not mean the same as NM. All right, now check if the matrices below are compatible. And if they are compatible, state the order of the matrix that is obtained. The first one you have MN, the matrix MN, where M is 2, 1, 0, minus 4, and N is 4, 3, 2, 2. So let us look for the matrix MN. Let us check for compatibility. M has order 
two by two, two rows by two columns, and n has other two rows by two columns. So we see that the number of columns in the first matrix equals the number of rows in the second matrix. They have the same value, so it is compatible, and the other is two by two. The two that are outside that circle gives us the other two by two. Now let us check compatibility for n m now. So n has other two by two, and n m has other two by two. So it's that just like the previous one, they are equally compatible and having the same other two by two. Let's take the second set. We have G two one zero four and A five four. Let's look for the product G A and see whether it is compatible compatible or not so g a will be the order of g gives us two by two and the order of a a has two rows by one column so a has other two by one we see that the number of columns in the first matrix equals the number of rows for the second since they are the same it means they are compatible and the order of the matrix that will be obtained will be two by one the values outside equally for a g a has order two by one and g has order two by two we see that the number of columns in the first matrix is not equal to the number of rows in the second. So they are different and this product is not possible and we say it is not compatible. So there is no need to look for any other because the product is not possible. So after knowing that the matrices are compatible and how to check for compatibility, we can now look for the fully matrix products. So let's look for MN. Let us multiply M by N. So MN will be equal to M times N as shown. You have to be very very careful here so our product will be obtained as follows so we are going to multiply the first row of the first matrix by the first column of the second matrix in this order as you see so you have four times two four first call the first matrix two from second matrix times two plus one times one four times two plus one times one that is the first the next thing now we now move to the second column of the second matrix but still at the first row of the first matrix so we have four times three plus one times two we now move to row two of the first matrix we have zero times two plus two times one and finally the last position we have 0 times 3 plus 2 times 2. This is how the multiplication is done. If you do not understand, you can play the video again and watch this particular section. So when we simplify, we'll have 4 times 2 giving us 8. 1 times 1 giving us 1. Then we'll have 12 plus 2, 0 plus 2, and 0 plus 4. And final answer will be 9, 14, 2, 4. So that's the product of this matrix. Note, matrix multiplication is not commutative. That is to say, M is not the same as N M. Let's take another example, A B. A B. So we see that A B is possible, but B A is not possible when you check for compatibility. So we are going to find just A B. So A B will be equal to A times B, and we do it as follows. We will have four times three plus minus one times five we are done with the first row now move to the second row zero times three plus two times five and we simplify this will give us 12 minus five and zero plus ten final answer will be seven ten if you do not understand you can play and watch again so thank you guys so much for watching. We have higher order matrices on video and many other properties of matrices and other things like quadratics, simultaneous equations and so on. Bye bye. Please don't forget to subscribe.